welcome back. I don't want to do this. I don't want to review this. If you saw the Jack and Nane's Nanster, it was a... Well, it was, I'm not going to say, because you may not have watched it yet. It was a chicken bolty nan. Or was it chicken bolty? Yeah, chicken bolty nan. And just watch it. That's all I can say. I thought this was a different mate till I picked it up. And I've just looked and... It's the same, mate. So, Jack and Nane's burrito. Mexican chicken. Filled with shredded chicken. Cooked in a punchy sauce from the... From the what? From the UK... Yucatan. Uh, well, we just butchered that name. From the Yucatan region of Mexico. Served with rice and kidney beans. Delicious, hot or cold. Hot in two minutes. To you in a moment. And there you have it, two minutes in the microwave. Let's have a look inside it. And that's inside. Real close up, look at that. Um, I don't know if it looks good or not. It actually looks the same colour as the uh, bolty I did. Hmm. We'll get into it then at the table and I'll tell you how much it costs. I bet you can guess. £2.50. Yeah, you guessed, didn't you? £2.50. Again, is that expensive for one of these like snacks? You're supposed to eat them cold as well, so you can just pop in, grab one for your dinner or your lunch, whatever you want to call it, and get moshing. There's a fair bit of filling in it. It's not like absolutely rammed with filling, but it's not skimped on it. It's, I suppose, just about right. So let's see. The snow's test. There is actually more going on, because I remember saying for the bolty one, it's got no smell from it. There is a bit of smell there, um, I'm getting slight smokiness coming through, which is probably smoked paprika. I can't, I could check on the ingredients, but it's like, it took me 20 minutes to read the amount of ingredients that are in it. And I don't just mean like the filling, I mean everything from the flour they've used and the, the oil and everything. But this garlic, it just says spices. Um, chipotle powder so that could be the smokiness because chipotle is uh, a smoky smell cumin powder coriander quite a few spices in there and it don't smell bad it don't smell bad let's get in and let's see the tortilla that it's in is nice light it's quite thin which does help so it's not too much of the tortilla flavor and not enough of the filling flavor coming through um, it's just about right Getting like a, does it say refried beans? Because it tastes a bit like that. Red kidney beans, it's that and can taste. You're getting the rice, there's a bit of rice in there as well. There is quite a few chilies down on the ingredients. And it's jalapeno, I think there's red chilies on there. Uh, chipotle. But it's not hot, spice wise, uh, chili wise. Hmm, pepper's coming through. Red pepper, uh, the beans, the rice, the spices are there, but you can't like differentiate today's big word. You can't differentiate between them, like the cumin, the chipotle. It's just all munged up together uh, to give it a nice Mexican style flavour. So, rating. Yeah, I fooled you. Yes, they've redeemed themselves. Uh, you should have watched the Nansters. Bolty chicken nan. So I'm just going to give you it now. If you've not watched it, spoiler alert. Um, mute the sound for 10 seconds. Starting now. Oh, I didn't like that one at all. Under spice, under flavoured. Um, didn't really taste like nan. And it didn't get a very good review. Just for those who did mute it. Uh, you know, you can come back now. This one is, I better not mention the other one either. This one is nice. It's It's got the thumbs up. And is there any books to that? Preference, individual preference, there is a book which I wish the flavour was a bit stronger on the chilli. A bit more spicy, hot, chilli wise. I know they're probably appealing to the masses because most people don't like red hot stuff and they're not idiots 
Uh, I am. And I could always add a bit of chilli sauce to it. Because it's a, uh, a tortilla, you could cut it in half like I've done. Open it a bit. Do that. Yeah, open it. Put a bit of chilli sauce in. So that's no biggie. Uh, it's not a but. It's a niggly point, I suppose. Other than that, it tastes all right. There is one but. So just to confuse you. Yes, there is a but. The price. I think... Everything's more expensive today, so am I just being like stuck in the past where I'm thinking that's about one pound to one fifty's worth. Nowadays that's probably the equivalent of two fifty, so I'm knocking it for two pound fifty, but that's probably the going rate now for things like this, hot cold food. So one but on the price, which may not even be a but if you let me know is that the going rate for sort of snacks like this. Other than that, it's not bad. It's acceptable, it's quite nice actually. And do I recommend it? If you're in a rush and you want to eat it cold, yeah, go and get it. If you're not in such a rush and you want to eat it hot, take one back home and try it. You might like it. You might need a bit of chilli sauce on if you like really hot stuff and spicy stuff. It is a nice flavour though. And that's about all I can say on that one. They got a thumbs up for that one. Not mentioning the last one. Because you may not have watched it if you ain't watch it. I don't sit here for me health, you know. I want you to watch me making an idiot of myself, which I normally do, because everyone will disagree with me on half the stuff I do. But, you know, that's my taste. I got this from Sainsbury's. I'm sure other supermarkets must do them because it doesn't say exclusively for Sainsbury's, as, as I can see on there. So, track it down. And you may have found a new snack for your dinner time or your lunch time. Thumbs up on this video, if you've liked it, of course. If you've not, just smash the thumbs up anyway. At least we know you've been watching. Subscribe if you're not, it's free. And drop your comments in below. Have you tried this? What did you think to it? Are you going to try it? I would say yes. Try it. Go and get it. £2.50. Is it expensive? I don't know, it's £2.50, isn't it? Well, you ain't going to get much nowadays for £2.50 anyway. So, go and get it. And you may have found a new snack. And we'll catch you on another one. Ta-ta!